Sweet baby Jesus. It's finally time. Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first return to a toy hunt. Now, it's not going to be like some expansion 12-store extravaganza toy hunt because that's not the goal for today. The goal for today is to finally get my hands on the Walmart exclusive AEW Unrivaled CM Punk figure. We've been waiting forever. I have hit my target multiple times trying to find AEW and Match Series 4. I've seen that a lot of people have been finding it and hitting and finding chases and doing all these things my target unfortunately so what i do is on mondays wednesdays and fridays i get up really really early in the morning and i'm always over there around my target at that time so monday wednesday friday i'm typically hitting my target early just to see if they have something so i hit it right when they open and i check it for new aew wrestling figures chase figures they've had the same four anna j's every single morning they have a hakiro shida there still as well and it's just like they're not going anywhere man i don't really know what to say they have been stuck there and i think the only way they're going to put out new products they may have some unmatched series 4 in the back but if you guys know how target does things they only put a few on the shelf at a time so they use a little bit of shelf space and once that shelf space is done they put the rest in the back and i guess that's just to prevent a lot of shelf warming and stuff like that i don't know the exact reason for it maybe if somebody works at target they can explain it to me but that's just the way that i have seen it that's just the way that it's been for a long time now so i don't want to bite the 80 90 dollar bullet of, bu of buying four anna j's just for them to put out more unmatched series three or what like if i'm gonna pay 80 bucks for anna j's and then turn around and then put the aew and match series four on the pegs to just to be able to buy them at retail why not just go online and buy an extra set of unmatched series for and it would be around the same price because I don't know what the hell I would I mean I guess I could collect the cards from the Anna J's or trade the cards or sell the cards or maybe something like that or maybe customize the Anna J and then sell the Anna J's and try to turn a profit or something I, I guess I could do that maybe but it's just not something that sounds enticing to me at this moment I'm this close to doing it though just because I'm so sick of seeing them and I really want to see AEW and Match Series 4 at my target because I know they have them at least that like they have to and usually they would put out one or two of them and then I could buy those to and then they put out more or if they put one out there then i could ask but i mean i probably could ask anyway but our target does not even have somebody that works in the toy department i got to a point where i got sick of going so i would call them and every time i call they say we don't have anybody working in toys we don't have anybody working in toys so it's like what the like you know it's kind of like a i'm kind of stuck on my target right now if i find anything in target i will let you guys know about it but today i say all this to say that today we're going to walmart because i put up the screenshot you guys can see it says that it's in stock at my Walmart. We're going to find out together. We're going to go to my Walmart, see if they have the CM Punk Walmart exclusive, see what they have there. Maybe we'll get some extra goodies, but that's what we're looking for. I already got the hangman, so I'm excited to get CM punk -a and get my hands on him. Let's go ahead and hit it. I'll see you guys in the store, and then I'll see you back here. If we find it, whatever the case is, shut the hell up. Let's get on to it. All right, guys, it looks like they have rearranged, so we'll have to... Okay, boom, there it is. Just right around the corner, baby. Let's freaking go. CM Punk Walmart exclusive. Looking good in the hoodie. Also have Hangman. I don't see anything else new, but this is what we came for. It's all we wanted, man. CM Punk Walmart exclusive. Looking good in the hoodie. Very, very nice. Looks like they have four of them. All of them in really good condition, which is beautiful. Hangman looking good. Already picked this up last week. They had it at my other Walmart. They said it was live on Brick Seek, so I just went and got them. They had two of them. So I went ahead and knocked those two out. So I'm going to leave all four of these here for sure. I don't know how many punks to get, to be honest with you. Because I don't know how, you know, I, I know a lot of people want them. But Ultimate Edition Fiend, got Bliss. Very random stock of Alexa Bliss and Fiend. So just a random stock of those. We also have Liv Morgan in the house. Plenty of AEW. Superstar Series 3. You got Stu Grayson. You got Trent. You got Chuck. You got Statlander. I still haven't got my Statlander and my Orange Cassidy, bro. Still have not gotten it. Plenty of Anna J. Plenty of Britt Baker. We got Bray Wyatt Elite 85. We got Chuck, Anna. We got Top Talents John Cena. Now, this is the second time I've seen this, I think. But it looks like this guy's getting his own shipper. Like, he's coming by himself. And then the rest of the set is going to come in later. Because these are the only ones I've seen at Walmart. This is I've seen them at both Walmarts, so... Looks like he's going to get a set of himself. And then you got Bray Wyatt again. 
these Bray Wyatt's right here are gonna be here for eternity until he comes back. If he comes back to TV, these might move, but you never really know. You got Bray Wyatt, Superstars, more Bray Wyatt, Honky Tonk, you got Hollywood Hogan, you also got Ric Flair. We got some other stuff going on. You got ATVs, you got the Stretch Armstrongs, you got Big E. You got some uh, we got decent little basics back here. Looking pretty good right there. I've I've been on the fence about the Mendoza. I don't know if I want to buy the Mendoza, but we got Big E over here. This Sasha basic is terrible. Good God in heaven. What kind of toy hunt would it be? Gotta drop. Gotta drop stuff, but this basic looks god awful. Terrible looking basic. Probably one of the worst basics I've seen. Big E. More drops. Jesus Christ, they overstock these pegs. MVP. Got the short haired edge or the man bun edge. We got. Man, dude. God, just so embarrassing. Can I stop dropping things, please? Jesus. We're going to clean up our, after ourselves, though. Always got to clean up after yourselves. Never leave the stuff a wreck, all right? Always pick up after yourself. Don't do drugs. Don't drink. Don't do anything stupid. Don't smoke cigarettes and clean up the aisle. I mean, that's all we ask, you know what I'm saying? Orange, still haven't picked up Series 8. I'm not paying 25 for them. Hell no. But with mission accomplished, baby. Yeah. Alright guys, we're back home after the toy hunt and what a successful toy hunt it was. What a successful toy hunt, man. We got our hands on him. The Walmart exclusive. Got the sticker up there. CM Punk right there. I already have my Hangman. We will be doing a two-in-one review of those. I'm going to review Hangman and CM Punk together because they're kind of plain Jane. You know, they're not like overly enticing. I don't think a lot of people are going to want to just see unmatched Hangman. You know, they're both just typically, they're just repaints, right? I mean, I don't know. CM Punk's kind of a full flesh figure his whole tights changed new head sculpt i'm excited i'm very excited for it can't wait to get my hands on this guy and look at him but there is the cm punk you guys already know we got a double up so we did get two of those i'll go ahead and get the second one out right here one thing i thought was weird is that they did not have any of the randy orton or Rey mysterio and drew mcintyre i guess they shipped john cena by himself because there's so many of them right like he's probably going to be the most stocked because he's the best selling character of all those right that makes the most sense to me but i guess we'll have to see about that but but we did get our second CM Punk. Cannot wait to crack this guy open. We're going to do a review, of course, and I got to have one to uh, keep on ice there. I think as far as main line, I'm missing like five from Unrivaled 9 because I haven't found any of those at retail. It's not a set that I pre-ordered. I have all of my Unmatched Series 4 on card, I just and I have my loose set. I just really want... I want extras, man. I want extras of that. I want to find the chases, things of that nature, so that's something I want to do, but super excited to have the CM Punk. Great finds today. That Sasha Banks basic is just god awful but one thing i've noticed do you think guys that i don't think unmatched series 4 is going to be hitting walmart i think that unmatched series 4 is going to be kind of like not target exclusive per se but it's going to be more target exclusive because they have this punk and this hangman that are in the same wave as unmatched series 4 i know they're different but they're the the hangman is like barely different whatsoever the same punk is a little bit different there i don't know what do you guys say you think that this series will end up hitting walmart i guess we'll have to see but usually it seems like target gets waves first and then walmart super behind because a lot of Walmarts just have Series 7. They do have Series 8. I haven't seen any Series 9 at Walmart. Nonetheless, that was our quick toy hunt today. I just wanted to find the CM Punk, man. Had to get my hands on the CM Punk. Finally got it. It looks amazing. We have a trunk CM Punk figure from AEW. We're going to compare it to the Elite 16. We're going to do all the different things, man. But that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Just wanted to get a quick toy hunt in here. We get this shortly after, like the day after... Mox uh, destroyed him for the AEW World Championship. Anyways, man, before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout-out. And today's shout out's gonna go to Cap Lives, who says, I like all these ideas. I think the ring is essential to all of these. You can keep the ring in future projects, but now they wouldn't have to market around it. They could put more focus on the stage figures or stipulation structure, which is exactly what I was talking about, man. They're gonna have if they're if they're going to introduce an elimination chamber, a hell in a cell, some of those things, they're gonna have to establish some sort of baseline ring that can be universal for all the different projects. That way you don't buy a ring and a ring and a ring in a ring so you end up like tom brady but that does it for today's random shout out man huge shout out to cap lives thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts down below i appreciate you guys have a blessed day and also happy birthday to brad it's brad's birthday happy birthday brad we love you, you cross the line.